a lot has happened this week in indoor football. A lot. A lot. And arena football. We'll, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that in a moment. Um, he just got finished watching Green Bay. Vegas, you know, come on over. Come on over here and, uh, you know, settle in for this week of the dual football. Um, you know, I think Drew Powell's Twitter got hacked, which is hilarious. That's like the only IFL noteworthy thing this week, in my opinion. The uh, rest of the games this week were, uh, they were, they were good. They were good. Good games this week. Uh, but we got to talk about the real elephants in the room. There are a lot of elephants in this room this week, and uh, they come from, really, they come from three sources, really, or rather, three sources of, you know, just why. Why are you like this? It, it's more like, why are you like this, instead of be this way. And the first is the CIF. Let, let's, we got, we got to deep dive into this nonsense here. Curtis Williams. He was either fired, or maybe he resigned. It, it, it's still unclear to me as to what, what actually happened, uh, because you know both sides are gonna construe the story to, to the way you know the way the way things are, and th this is just crazy because the Wyoming Mustangs already fired their entire coaching staff once, including Curtis Robertson. He was also fired again. Uh, you know, the Mustangs owners were like, you know, what, 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 what do we do? Do, do, we, do we, we like fire him? Do we like, you know, do, 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 he said he resigned? You know, we, we don't know. And now, you know, Williams is saying like, oh well, they paid me hush money. You're like that just kind of conflicts with the whole story. You know, they were like they they, they paid they paid him hush money. And he demanded more hush money. Well, see, the whole story is just confusing. The whole situation is completely confusing because of the, the whole, you know, medical reasons factor. You know, he actually had a seizure. He, had, he actually had, you know, a seizure uh, at one point. You know, like, again, various reasons have been, like, given out, you know, as to why Curtis Williams is still locked with the Mustangs. You know, like... There's like the whole, you know, the play. Maybe the players didn't like him. You know, very, uh, yeah, that's one reason that's been given. You know, other coaches tried to force him out. You know, you know like Cedric Walker, who is now the CIF's, you know, the, well, you know, the, the, the head coach, or rather, of the Mustangs. He, Cedric Walker, is now the coach of the Mustangs, and the Muskegs beat Topeka on Saturday night, by the way. Uh, Speaking of, you know, getting beat, the CIF Network app, that no longer is a thing. The CIF is back on YouTube. And I said this from the jump. I said this months ago when they tried to establish this nonsense. Do not do this. Do not waste people's time with this. And, you know, like when they confirmed, when the CIF confirmed that they were going to establish a network, you know, months ago, I sat here and said, I remember saying, let's not let's not do this. Let's, you know, just go to YouTube. Do what you need to do on YouTube to get the streams up to the, to the quality that you can put it up to quality. Because of the streams on Saturday, you know, had to get interrupted multiple times. You know, the, the, the one stream, like, started and stopped multiple times. You couldn't leave comments in the live chat because there, there was one dude in, in the, one of the live chats with one of the games that was kind of weird. Like, like dude was just talking not about the game at all. Like, this like this dude was talking about politics in the chat, you know, for the game. And I'll sit here like, why? What? You know, like, come on. So the CIF's back on YouTube. Most of the games that were on the CIF Network app are properly on YouTube now, but you know, again, th this was just a disaster from the jump, and it shouldn't have been, it shouldn't have been a thing from the jump. It shouldn't have been a thing at all, you know. You know, you you, you, you it just is what it is. You, you can you can you know you know turn the audio down when it's time for those little musical numbers and whatnot. You know, the little bands and stuff like that. You can turn the volume down, turn the audio off, or whatever. Do that. 
you know, to avoid the copyright because YouTube is a crazy place every day. So I, again, I, I I'm just like the 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 Curtis Williams situation is really the big kicker here. It's insanity for the biggest of reasons because again, there's just so many layers to this story that we still do not understand, and I don't think we will understand. And there's just no point talking about it because Wyoming actually won a game with Cedric Walker. So, you know, Cedric Walker has been a coach in the past. So, I mean, it is what it is. In the NAL, Iron Man debuted in week one, which is the debut of the San Antonio Gunslingers, the debut of these five teams that have returned, the debut of the NAL season. And what a first week it was for the NAL. I'm really excited. I, I talked with Inside the Walls. And speaking of Inside the Walls, please, please, I am begging you, go over to them and subscribe to their YouTube. Go listen to their, you know, podcast. You go listen to the podcast on Spotify, wherever you listen to the podcast. They are the official source. They are the official podcast for the NAL. Give them love because they waited and broke the Mason Espinosa going to be a coach somewhere. I don't know where. He will be a coach somewhere Columbus got themselves the quarterback is and I forgot who his name was off the top of my head and Columbus won by the way so that kind of you know that I thought you know for a second they were going to lose against the Sharks but they beat the Sharks last night and uh you know your boy was like yeah Columbus still with the chip maybe <laughs> but you know for, for for the time being you know Whatever they say, whatever inside the walls, you know, you, know you, you boys, Zach and Jim, whatever they say is what I'm going to repeat over here, you know, because again, the NAL, they have their own official podcast for now. They have their own official podcast, and I'm glad for my boys, Zach and Jim. I'm glad for them. I've talked with them extensively in Discord, and you know, you've been on, commented on the videos, I've listened to their podcasts. Love what they do. They 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 you know they they do what they need to do, and they have made it to a big. They made it to a big time. And there's been a lot of things, and they interviewed the commissioner of the NAL, and what that interview said has a lot. There's a lot of stuff in there, you know, that I think some people could take away. You know, there's a potential. I'm not gonna say anything because that's rumors and y'all still are eating up that old AFL video from 10 months ago but you know there's there's rumors it's not confirmed yet but we'll wait and see you know what happens again you have to go to the inside the walls to see you know what's true and what's not true for now you'll have to go to, you'll have to go to them you know so could there be NAL teams in the central time zone who knows NAL locking down the east coast I think that's even more of a that, that's more of a positive than anything else but you know, we'll see how San Antonio does this year. They actually played okay last night. You know, I thought they were going to be. You know, a lot of us thought you know it was going to be real rough for San Antonio last night, but they played tough. They played tough. I think they maybe can win a couple games this year. You know, again, but in all seriousness, I'm telling you, go to Inside the Walls, subscribe to them, do whatever you need to do over there. You know, there's 175 of you here. You know, I'm sure a good chunk of you need to go on over there you know a good chunk of you need to go on over there if you like the NAL you know we'll still talk about the NAL here because again the NAL is the NAL so whatever again whatever I relay is going to be you know what inside the wall says what the NAL says you know officially so go over the inside the walls please um, National Indoor Football and the APFL thing uh, Charlotte Played West Michigan last night in their home opener again. You know the APFL is just the two team league. Uh, there, there's actually a home and home type thing with Central Illinois from the NIF West Michigan. Uh, their second game will be on May seventh. Uh, that like I originally forgot. You know, like I, I didn't I didn't know this was a thing until it actually you know was a thing. But there's now a second date for them confirmed because I, I I looked everywhere. And I found a Facebook post that was just like, "Oh yeah, Central Illinois play West Michigan in a in a set, in a two game series this year." So that's really 
you know, cool. Of the AIFA, what a disaster it has been. I'm telling you, the site has not been updated. It has not been updated since the kickoff classic. The only team that's released their schedule is Mississippi. Again, we know this. We, we talked about this last week. Tampa Bay, Cyclone, they continue to like remake their logo or whatever, but they didn't show up against Mississippi last week. They were supposed to play Mississippi this week, and instead the Alabama Empire, who was supposed to be off this week, I had to triple check, double check. Yeah, the Alabama Empire were not supposed to play this week. They played against Mississippi. Mississippi whooped them, and the arena was actually, you know, quite interesting. It was quite interesting looking. It looks like a high-grade arena. It's just a shame that I don't think it, not a lot of people showed up, I don't think. But, you know, Mississippi has, again, they, they look like a team that's, you know, could rise up the ranks, I think, because they're the only ones that's actually, you know, trying to promote. You know, I've seen, again, I've seen them post, you know, a lot of stuff over the past few weeks and stuff like that. They are the only ones actually trying to promote. Where's the AIFA owners? Where's the uh, the president? The, uh, the You know, where, where are the guys that actually run the AIFA? Because there's been nothing, no correspondence. They're like, Happy Easter! Where's your schedule? You said you were going to release a schedule. You haven't released the schedule. The only team that has is Tampa Bay. You talk again. We talk about black excellence here, and we do. You know, as black man, you know, you want black excellence. You 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 preach black excellence, and you don't do black excellence. You don't do that due diligence to make black excellence. So you know. Yeah, 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 hey, I'm going to keep my eyes on you guys because you guys got a lot of issues. You know, you are, you're you're already a splinter from another league, which is bad. That's, that's an absolutely terrible idea in and of itself. But, you know, the way things are going, this league ain't going to make it. It's not going to make it till 2023. You, you can say you want to make it till 2023, but you're not going to make it till 2023 if you don't get it together because it's going to be May. You know, it's going to be May now, and you got you got to get it together right now. Uh, major indoor football, I forgot this was even a thing. You know, there's a, uh, it, it's a league that exists, but honestly, I do not care. The only guy that covers it is, uh, you know, one of the, one of the inside of Rita guys. And they're like in their 12th season. They started up this week, but they do like a winter season as well, which is kind of stupid, but whatever. MIF is like nowhere to be found anywhere on social media or anything. It's, I can't even find a website. You know, it's just hard for me to find anything. And, you know, that kind of, you know, you know, the Maryland Eagles thing, you know, remember the APFL. Or rather, Charlotte, who runs the league pretty much, had a Maryland Eagles game scheduled, and Maryland's not going to be able to play. They have their MIF commitments, you know. So, you know, Steel City, uh, some team known as the Predators, Hunting, Hunting Park, Berks County, that was, you know, that's the same area where Reading is, or rather was, because Reading took the year off, or whatever. So, a lot, maybe a lot of those guys are on Berks County, or whatever. Uh, it is what it is. The EIF, the website's down, but at least Peach State beat up on Atlanta. That that's that's cool, right? That's cool. You know, it is what it is. Like EI, like if you go to the EIF website, it's still down. It's it hasn't been updated at all. People are the people that are fans of that league are complaining about it. So it is what it is. And last but not least, uh, North Texas. The Arena Football Association and everything else that happened in the AIFA this weekend. Absolutely atrocious. The North Texas game against Magnolia, not sanctioned. You you got guys, you know, from you know, from North Texas, you know, the North Texas Bulls organization were like, what 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 are you what do you mean? What do you mean this ain't sanction? What do you mean this what do you mean is going on? What's going on here? Why are we get why are we getting booted out of the league? And I'm sitting here like, hey, something's wrong here. I checked the AFA website to see if there's actually anything going on because I I you know, I have I have to check to just to see, you know, just to verify if things, you know, stay, you know, the way they are because, you know, contrary to popular belief, you know, the RC Cola 
of covering indoor football is going to find out something. And I was like, I, I don't think I was the first person to find this out, but I was the first person to say something about it. And North Texas got removed from the AFA website, and then two hours later, which originally the release was supposed to be Thursday, you know, and it and it said Thursday on the press release or whatever, or out of the Facebook press release. But it was Wednesday night at like 10 o'clock. And North Texas got removed from the league. Compliance. League commitments. They weren't getting their due diligence. And North Texas is gone from the AFA. A team that moved on over from the AAL. Again, the AFA is another splitter league that should not exist. And yet it exists anyway. A revised schedule will be released later, but for right now, who knows? Who knows what in the world's going to happen? We'll find out. You know, we'll check. A lot of us will check and see me and Arena Teams. You know, I believe he's on Instagram, but he goes by Arena Teams in the Discord. He, he and I have done a lot, you know, of correspondence, stuff like that. You know, because, you know, he, he, he was like, you know, what they they may have just removed them for the website because I, I was sitting here like something's wrong here. Like, why is North Texas gone? And it, again, two hours later, gone from the league. And they're and they're they're you know, North, if you look at the North Texas Facebook page, they are on a pity party right now. They are crying. They are whining. They are doing whatever they need to do to try and stay relevant. And you know, you know, bitch and bone about the situation. That they put themselves in with that terrible, terrible, terrible arena. It is what it is. You reap what you sow. I hope you fold. Please, for the better of the game, fold. Like, you, you had to release a cease and desist letter and everything like that. You got guys, you know, that are just like, you know... You know they're like they're like uh, media and press relations guys. I believe his name is Don Hill. You know, based off of his statements, you got got again. You got everybody under the sun trying to you know beg to get back into the league. We, that's just not the case. And the AFA was never you know a league that you know we were particularly high on. A lot of us were not particularly high on this league anyway. Please fold. Please go away. So I don't have to talk about you again because not only is uh, not only did the Rio Grande Valley Texas Jets game not start on time, a field for the jet for the Texas Jets had tape on it, you know, tape field numbers on it. But there's still plastic boards. I still saw these are these look like the same plastic boards from the North Texas game. That's not, you know, you want to be at an arena. You want to be at arena football league. You want you want to be professional. You don't put that stuff in there, you know. Again, it, it's it's not cool. And you, you know what's you know what else is crazy? Witch talk. They still have those damn inflatable walls. I, I saw what Magnolia has put out, and I saw what Magnolia put out on their Facebook late last night. They, those inflatable walls are still there. Why are they still there? Does Wichita, you know, Wichita, are, are you not, is something not clicking? Because you still have those walls. Like, they, I thought, you know, moving to a smaller arena would help. But evidently not, because those walls are still there. Just cheap, not cool. And that 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 that's a huge reason why y'all. That's a huge reason why Wichita got kicked out of the CIA. It's just it's just not. It's just not that it. It's just not it. I'm sorry. It's just not it. It's not cool, man. Golly, ah, oh, goodness, man. I I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. When it, when, it, when it comes to the AFA, I, I, I'm, I'm absolutely disgusted. I can't wait to see what this league tries to, you know, put out next week. The AIFA needs to do something as well, you know. But for the big three, the IFL, CIF, and AL, they're doing what they need to do, which is be the top three. And that that's where the cookie's going to crumble. We got a lot of good indoor arena football action 
starting Friday night, ending Sunday, you know, next week. It's going to be fun. Cannot wait. I hope you all, you know, stuck around till the end, because if you didn't, um, I, I, I will go on a tear, you know, again. Because, I mean, again, this is, this is just absolutely unacceptable for some of these lower-level leagues. They shouldn't exist. They, they they stained the game even worse than it already is and it, it just really angers me you know to have to go off on, on, on some of these people you know because it's it's not everybody's fault it's not it's something it, it's it's the, it's the people in charge usually not like the field crew or you know the, the players it's definitely not the players fault that they're playing on surfaces that aren't you know supposed to be used you know, you you got broadcasters that are like yo, what 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 is happening again? AFA opener on flow on flow sports again. Flow sports. So you you so you know you know I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real real angry. I'm gonna be real real angry if we have to come back here next weekend and say something like uh, you know. Something stupid happened in one of these leagues again. It was CIF, you know, a, a PR disaster this weekend. And you know, again, a three a three for one combo here with disastrous results here this week. So again, you know, CIF situation terrible. NAL good. IFL good. Everybody else, not so much. You know, AFA, AIFA, not good. Terrible, even. In any case, I'll see you Bay 1st for this week in indoor football. It'll be a triple header on Bay 1st, by the way. A triple header of videos on Bay 1st. But you'll find that out on the channel update on Bay 1st. <laughs> We only got a couple videos left this week. Uh, U.S. Fell Week 3 being previewed or, or out of the rest of the month of April and then the NFL Draft. I don't know how I'm going to do it. It's going to be like, I guess I'll wrap up the draft. You know, it, if that's the case because, you know, the NFL Draft wraps up on, you know, April 30th. So, that'll be the last video of the month. You know, the last two videos of the month. I'll see you all on Friday for USFL Week 3 preview and Saturday for the NFL Draft wrap-up and then, you know, May is going to look a lot better as far as channel, you know, stuff goes but I'll tell you all about that on the channel update next Sunday. Until then, see ya and I hope you have a great week because I got I to gotta do a lot of work this week myself. <laughs>